Pete Kilmer, he's been a patient of mine for quite a while, and uh, he's on some uh, medications for pain and inflammation and so forth. But what we're going to look at here today is balance and muscle strength because we look at that too to help uh, activate and reduce pain and inflammation by activating his brain. So let's have you stand on one leg. I'll tuck your chin down. You can see he's having some issues there. Now let's have you stand on the other one. Okay, now I'll have you on your back here, face up. And he does have his glasses on, so that's not the issue. But we're going to test his muscles here. Hold this leg up. You can see we got some definite weakness. So we're going to have some atrophy in his extensor muscles here. Hold this arm in. Hold this arm in. So you can see we have some extensor muscle weakness. Hold your hand back. And so when he starts to lose his uh, support to all his joints and his muscles aren't supporting him, he's, he's getting uh, increased pain uh, symptoms because of lack of uh, support from his uh, extensor muscles. And then he gets negative feedback coming back, back up to the brain, so you start getting balance problems. It just keeps escalating, getting worse. So we're going to put him on a machine we have, which is called a vibroplate, and then we're going to redo this. So let's hit him on. So this machine is it's called a vibroplate, and it vibrates at specific hertz. And we got, it's actually creating activation from the feet back up to the brain through the uh, spinal cerebellar tract and the spinal thalamic tract to activate his motor strip, which activates his balance centers, which creates increased neural pathways to these muscles to make his balance better, which in the long run will help reduce pain and inflammation. So what we're going to do is have him on this for two cycles at a minute and a half piece, and we'll retest. Go. This is T. Kilmer again, and he's been on this uh, balance plate for approximately uh, two sessions of a uh, minute and a half piece. And as you can see now, we're redoing his uh, balance, and he's much better. You feel more stable? Yeah. Before, it looks like you're like flying an airplane. Yeah, well, not very well either. And now you're doing much better. Do you feel a little more stable too? Yeah. We're going to come in and test his uh, muscle. So we're going to use uh, manual muscle testing that we've learned in applied kinesiology to test his muscles here. And we're not looking for frank nerve root problems. We're looking for an imbalance in how his extensor muscles are firing. So let's bring your leg up. Push up towards the ceiling. It's a lot better, isn't it? That's yeah, way different. Feel a lot more strength. Oh, yeah. Hold your leg out. Don't me that machine for a few weeks. Hold this in. So what we've done here is activate his cerebellum, the midline area of the cerebellum, the more lateral area where the interposed nucleus is, and the dentate nucleus, which fires up into his uh, cortical area to activate his flexor muscles, plus it increases uh, extensor tonus and causes more inhibition to the flexors. And so what we've done here in just a series of uh, in about three, four minutes is to create some activation to his neural pathways. Now this isn't going to cure him, but what it's going to do if we do this over a period of time, it's going to uh, create uh, increased plasticity to his receptors in his brain to make him start feeling better. Maybe we can get him off some of his medications and increase the quality of his life.